So we've already heard of big data. Big data is revolutionizing science and it's going to change our lives. So I'm going to introduce something new. I'm going to introduce shit data. So shit data is something that I deal with on a daily basis. And shit data is data that is irregular, that is uh, not randomly sampled, so we know there are biases in how it was collected. It is a data that we have no sense of completeness of. So it means we have no idea to what extent this data actually represents the patterns and, and the processes and the phenomena that we want to study. A case in point here for me is uh, I'm an archaeologist. I work with, uh, with data that is uh, predominantly between 2 million and half a million years old. And all of those tiny black dots that you may or may not see, those are archaeological sites. So those are our data points. And you can probably, if you square, you can see that the small area of London has a magnitude more size than the whole of South and East Asia. And that is crazy. And even when you look at a different scale, so for example, when you look at the map of the UK with the concentration of sites, you can see that even in those data-rich areas, the distribution is still uneven and we still cannot depend on it because clearly there is actually nothing in between. So the question is, how do we deal with shit data? Um, my, my take on that is to create simulations. So what I do is I create simulations that are completely independent from the empirical record. So they represent hypothesis models, like basically what people thought the past was. And then I run them to create artificial record, which I can then compare with whatever data we have, even if it's really bad. But I am here just to look around, because I think I'm not the only person that has a shit data problem. And I want to see what you guys do and how you deal with that. 